from Mark Aragnos's death in 5000 BBY until the end of the Great Hyperspace War and the dissolution of the original Sith Space Empire, only some 86 years passed, which was a blink of an eye in the Sith of those days, most of whom, if they could survive trying to be killed, lived to be at least hundreds of years old. Consider Tenebrae, Lord Vitiate, first Sith Emperor, ostensibly the acting ninth Dark Lord of this Sith, who was trained in his youth by Mark Aragnos, and who retreated from public life following the signing of the Treaty of Coruscant some 1,467 years later. After the battles of Korriban, the Sith Empire was disbanded, and its residents fled into deep space to avoid Republic reprisal bombing campaigns. One group, led by the Lord Vitiate, Tenebrae, the young apprentice of Mark Aragnos, made a series of random hyperspace jumps on a quest to discover the long-lost planet once in the Sith Empire of Drummond Koss. Finally, after a twenty-year exodus across the unknown regions, they found the planet and settled there, establishing the capital of the reformed Sith Empire as the Sith Imperial Citadel in Koss City. Unlike the original ten-member Council of the Sith between the arrival of the fallen Jedi to Korriban and the battles of Korriban around an aeon later, there were twelve members of the Dark Council in the reformed Sith Empire, but one of them was the Emperor, secretly dubbed the Sithari, and his Shadow Hand apprentice, dubbed the Janari. Under Emperor Tenebrae, most of the first members of the Dark Council, besides his Shadow Hand apprentice, Sith female exile Kreesh, a descendant of Ludo Kreesh, were assassinated in 3950 BBY for conspiring against the Emperor's plans for another war with the Republic. It is believed the only surviving members of the original Sith Council's first purge were the male Sith Igrol, female Sith Nyris, and male human Zedrix, who, along with the Emperor, Exile Kreesh as his apprentice, and Lord Scourge, whom had carried out the purge, made up half of the new Dark Council of the Sith Empire. Scourge lured Zedrix to Bothrida and slew him, then captured the Jedi amnesiac Revan, whom had, upon regaining his memories, slain Darth Nyrus with her own Sith lightning. Finally, four years after the conspiracy of the Dark Council against the Emperor's pro-war plans was first discovered, all its participants had been destroyed. However, the Sith Empire was now no longer a secret from the Galactic Republic, due to the Jedi Ravon recovering his memories while in the custody of Darth's Nyrus and Scourge. The Jedi Ravon had been shot down by Scourge and Nyrus over the Emperor's original homeworld of Nathema. Scourge trained Ravon for three years before Ravon's Jedi Padawan Mitrix Surik attempted to rescue him, and it was during the Night of the Purge, while under attack by Darth Nyrus, that Ravon regained his memories. Scourge then betrayed Ravon and turned him over to the Emperor for which the Emperor made Scourge immortal, dubbing him the Emperor's Wrath. The Emperor took Ravon as his new apprentice, and it was around this time that Exile Kreesh, his prior apprentice, fled from the Cathal Rift to Republic space. While Emperor Tenebrae apprenticed Ravon, 
Ravon was reunited with his friend and fellow fallen Jedi, Malak, whom Ravon took then as his own Sith apprentice. The Emperor commanded Ravon to track down the Rakatan Starforge space station using ancient star maps, one of which Ravon had found on Kashyyyk alone earlier, and others of which Ravon and Malak both discovered on Dantooine, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. Finally, Ravon and Malak located Lehan, formerly the homeworld of the original Infinite Empire, called once Rakata Prime. Ravon took the Starforge from the now devolved Black Rakata tribe under the One by tricking the Black tribe's adversaries, the Elders, who lived in the Temple of the Ancients, to give it to him so he could destroy it. He did not destroy it. Instead, declaring himself and his cohort now the Dark Lords of the Sith, Darth Ravon and Darth Malak re-entered Republic space with the Star Forge and, in 3959 BBY, began the now so recalled Jedi Civil War. Two years later, the Republic desperate to end this conflict quickly before it could spread any further, set a trap for Ravon and Malak in the Outer Rim territories. The Jedi commander, Bastilla Shan, infiltrated onto the bridge of Darth Ravon's flagship and confronted him, but just then Darth Malak betrayed them all and, from his own ship, opened a salvo of blaster cannon fire directly at the flagship's bridge. Ravon, near death, was saved by the Jedi Shan, but, once more, his memories were lost to him. Although Ravon would kill Malak in 3956 BBY, three years later, and, after purging the Sith from Korriban as a restored Jedi, would marry his part-time ally and part-time adversary Bastille Shan. It was not more than thirty years before the Sith Empire invaded Republic space and began the Great Galactic War that lasted twenty-eight years and left the Republic totally crippled during the ensuing twelve-year-long Republic Sith Cold War. From the surprise attack on the Aparo sector in the Tingle Arm, beginning the Great Galactic War in 3681 BBY, until the apprentice of the Treaty of Coruscant era, Darth Barras, executed his master's Plan Zero to begin the Second Great Galactic War in 3641 BBY. For those 40 years, the Sith Empire ruled nearly one half of the populated galaxy. From its reform, following the first Dark Council purge in 3950 BBY, until Emperor Tenebrae's first body was killed by the nameless heroic Jedi, the Knight of Tython, in a duel in the Dark Temple on Drummond Koss in 3641 BBY, the dominant ruling body over the mighty Sith Empire was the Dark Council of Twelve Dark Lords of the Sith, including the Emperor, Lord Vitiate himself, Although little is known of many of the Dark Council members besides their names, at least 22 members are recognizably identified as having ruled from the establishment of the reformed Sith Empire on Drummond Koss until the Second Great Galactic War began and the Cold War era of Sith Imperial co-dominance of the galaxy began to wane. Those we now know of to serve on the Dark Council during the Great Galactic War include Darth Azamine, 
Darth Eckage, Darth Mar, Darth Mechus, Darth Sajar, Darth Vauron, Emperor Tenebrae himself, as well as, of course, Exile Kreesh, his first apprentice, Revon and Malak, his second and third apprentices. During the Cold War era, the Dark Council of the Reformed Sith Empire consisted of Darth's Arctis, Azamin, and Howl, of whom no depictions remain, as well as Darth Arho, Darth Decimus, Darth Hadra, Darth Jadis, Darth Mortis, Darth Knox, Darth Ravage, Darth Thanaton, Darth Vengeen, and Darth Zoreed.